morning and welcome to another weekly vlog it's monday today i feel i feel like i've been quite productive so far i did have a little bit of lay-in because i took some <laughs> pills for my jaw which is an agony last night and they just made me so sleepy also painted my nails before i went to bed i'm not sure i haven't worn black nail varnish in like 10 years <laughs> um but it's for some halloween makeup tutorials that i'm going to be doing soon i have written a blog post and just done some admin and i'm now going to make some food because i'm absolutely ravenous I made a pesto pasta last night and I made loads of it so I could have some for lunch today. So I'm just going to have some of that. I'm going out in a bit. My cousin has just qualified as a Pilates instructor. So me, my sister and I think maybe my mum are going, which should be really nice. I'm excited to kind of do a little bit of a workout before circus tomorrow. I am feeling quite down and self-conscious about my body at the moment I feel like I let my body go a bit over the summer so I want to get back on track and feel more confident and happy in myself so that is the plan although pasta probably isn't the best thing to be eating <laughs> and then I'm going to edit some videos before I go out and then I'm probably going to stay at my parents tonight at my parents house because I've got a dentist appointment early in the morning to find out what's going on with my jaw it feels a little bit better today to be honest but I haven't eaten yet so that's probably why I'm just working on the sofa this afternoon under my dressing gown. Just made myself a caramel latte, which I'm very excited about. And editing videos. I've nearly finished editing this week's weekly vlog. Hey, I'm just getting ready to go now to my parents' house. Drop my bags off. Um, I just changed Echo's cage and finished doing all the work I had to do today. Are you okay, little bear? I'm sorry I had to wake you up. Here we go, so my bag is packed, I'm all ready to go, I'm just wearing some sports leggings, flats and a hoodie. Got my bag with me as well, I will see you when I get to my parents' house. This is my dinner, it's a chicken wrap. <laughs> Morning everyone, it is Tuesday today, I've just got home. It's 10 o'clock <laughs> and I've already been all over the shop. So I stayed at my parents last night. I slept on like the pull-out sofa bed and I didn't get any sleep at all. So I'm exhausted. I feel like I might need a nap at some point today. Oh, look at my nails. They're chipping already. Barry M black nail varnish and like a really fancy top coat and it's already chipped. So I went to the dentist and they took an x-ray of my jaw and she said she thinks it's my wisdom tooth coming out but the x-ray didn't go far back enough to show the actual whole tooth i think it's half out honestly i don't think it is that because i've had i think i've got all my wisdom teeth now and none of them have felt like this this feel like normally it's just pain on the gum area and when the tooth's coming but this is my whole jaw right up to my ear all the way down um but she gave me some medicine i just picked it up from the doctors metro nidazole and i have to take three of these tablets a day for three days and hopefully that will take the pain away i'm one of those people that googles all the medicine they get as soon as they get it to see to see what other people have been saying about it i also just picked up some new mouthwash as well and then um, I went and got my tyres changed on my car. I've been worrying about it. You know when there's something just like niggling at the back of your mind that you have to do? Um, and that's been niggling on mine for a couple of months now. So I went, <laughs> I was like the first customer in the tyre shop this morning. So they changed three of my tyres. So expensive. Glad that's done now. My car feels a lot easier to drive as well. I've just put the kettle on so I'm going to make a cup of tea and do some editing. I'm going to edit my Halloween tutorial yeah today's i mean today's quite boring apart from circus tonight oh i also wanted to say that pilates was really good i really really enjoyed it and i really want to get into it more and do it more often it's all about using your core and it's almost like doing yoga but using more of your core i think i'm not sure i've never really done it before i felt really strong and really flexible and i realized how circus has improved my body strength entirely like every section of my body is quite strong now because of circus so i'm so grateful for that i'm gonna maybe look at some pilates um tutorials on youtube if anyone has some favorites that they follow then let me know today's lunch is broccoli and tomato quiche with some salad and a carrot i am on the verge of tears i wish i could tell you guys everything um 
but I can't. It's really annoying. All this stuff that's happening behind the scenes in my life that I can't talk to you about. I um, pride myself on being very honest and telling you guys anything and everything that I can. And I want you to feel like my little sister or a best friend. Like, that's what I want from my channel. Um, but there's some stuff that I can't talk about. But if you knew, then I think you'd feel sorry for me the stuff that i'm having to put up with from a sense someone at the moment like my blood right now is boiling i'm so angry and one day maybe i'll talk about it one thing is for sure and that's i when i next get into a relationship i'm going to be very careful about not showing them basically i hope that they're a good person and that they don't try to um mess me out with stuff Sorry about my little outbreak. I was really frustrated. I might talk about it one day. I thought I'd show you some of the phone cases that I ordered from Amazon. I ordered them like a week before I upgraded my phone. Um, but they only came a couple of days ago. So I thought I'd show you quickly. They're all from Amazon. This is the one I'm currently using. It's like a marble. But it has like a slight kind of like gold. No, it's not metallic. It's like matte. Um, but it has a slight gold detail i really like that i also really love this one exactly the same but with kind of like a blue and gold design they are all kind of like i'll take this one off so you can see they're all kind of like bendy so i like that because i like it when they have a bit of bounce so instead of just smashing to the floor if you drop them it'll kind of bounce back up this one which is just beautiful i cannot wait to use this it's so sparkly i can't stop looking at it but i think it does it will definitely draw attention to the phone though so i'm going to save it for when i'm feeling a little bit more confident carrying this out and about and then the final one is this one again kind of like a marble almost like opalescent shell design i really really like it say so the other four i got i will leave a link down below i think these three were from the same kind of store um, and I also bought one of these what are they called pop sockets but it doesn't really go with any of them so I've ordered another one which will hopefully be a little bit paler that I can attach it onto the back of this because this is so big like my hand doesn't really fit around it properly so I definitely need something to kind of like hold, help me hold it at the back before I got into bed I always seem to do this um, I had a really good night at circus I am aching all over from that and pilates oh look I've got some bruises on my arm and then I rushed home and made myself boiled eggs on toast whilst I watched the bake off and then I watched Dr Foster season finale with my housemate and it was good but I cried <laughs> it was really emotional if you haven't watched it go and watch it it's such a good series i've been, just been doing some swiping on the old tinder i walked past a guy at old street and we had beautiful sweet eye contact like it was one of those ones where we nearly bumped into each other and i looked at him i did this look like that like a cheeky little look, look down and then look back up with a smile and he did it too and then we matched on happen or well i think it was him he looks very similar in the pictures i'm gonna go to bed now because i didn't get any sleep last night at my parents house but i will see you tomorrow for a day in london hey everyone it's wednesday today my jaw is in agony again that reminds me i'm gonna pack some pills i thought it was getting better but it's not i need to start taking the antibiotics that they gave me yesterday but i'm not gonna do that until after my date tonight because I want to be able to have a drink. I know that sounds so stupid, but I need a glass of wine. Just packing my bag. I've got that dilemma of I'm going to work in an office, but I'm also going on a date after. So I um, don't know what bag to take. I'm going to take my 
Zara, my trusty Zara bag. It fits my laptop in. Um, it's surprisingly spacious, but it doesn't have much room for anything else, so it means I can't take a packed lunch into Gleam. I also really want to take my Mulberry bag, but that means I would have to take another bag for my laptop, and it would just I'd look like a bag lady. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I've just thrown my hair up for now because. I need to wash it. It doesn't look great today. This is what I'm wearing. My date boots, <laughs> I'm now calling them. Black jeans. I've got this coat which I've had for years. I don't even think the shop is around anymore. But if I can find anything similar, I will leave it down below. I've got my furry black Forever 21 jumper on. And then when I get to my actual date, I'm going to take my jumper off. And I'm wearing this like lace crochet t-shirt that I got from a charity shop with my friends. I'm also wearing like a crop top underneath which I need to keep pulling down so it doesn't look too bad. Just popped into Benefit to get my brows done. This is the before. Here we are. They look perfect. Just got myself a caramelised pecan latte from Starbucks for the walk to Gleam. I am just at Gleam and I'm going through my PO box and wanted to show you some bits because they're really cute. My brows look humongous. Firstly, there's this box from Oh Dear. This is, Oh Dear is honestly one of my favourite stationery websites. So we've got little exfoliating bar. We've got some cute little pens, washi tape. Love those. A cute little 2018 diary, which I'm definitely going to be using. Oh, I love their diaries so much. So you've got space for each day and then a small space for the weekend too. Love that. And then this as well, I also love these, so it's like a week overview of things you need to do, your diary, stuff like that. Super cute. We also have this from Maria Neela, which is shampoo, conditioner and a hand soap, which is super cute. I love this brand. The hair care is beautiful. Also just had this incredible delivery from YSL and it's their new lip products. So we've got the Rouge Per Couture, the mattes, and these are gorgeous matte lipsticks. I think these two are my current favourites. This one is called Crazy Tangerine and it's like a orange red and this one is called Rouge Tatouage. Can't talk French. These are their new matte lip stains. Again, absolutely beautiful and they've also got some lip liners to go along with them. This one is called True Orange and it's so beautiful, very pigmented. Hey guys, I am not going to lie, I'm feeling worse for wear today. I am looking for some paracetamol because I'm in agony. Found some. I had such a good date last night. Ooh. Guys, it was a great date. I, for once, fancied him and I thought he was hilarious and smart and intelligent and funny. He made me laugh so much. It felt, it was really weird. It felt like I knew him for years and I've never had that on a date before. Like the conversation wasn't awkward at all. Like we're talking all night. I did have, I think I had three glasses of rosé and it might look like I've just woken up but it's actually like four o'clock. I have been doing work today but I can't get out of my pyjamas because it's so cold. And my jaw is still in agony but I started taking my antibiotics today, this morning. I'm hoping that it starts helping soon because I'm in agony. Yeah so we didn't snog last night. Didn't have a snog even though I quite would have quite liked one but we did hold hands as we walked back to the station. <laughs> it's making me cringe. But yeah, it was nice. Hopefully I'll see him again. Hopefully. I just have a bad feeling about it. You know when you quite fancy someone and then they're not interested and then you feel really rubbish about yourself. I have a feeling that that's going to happen. I'm just editing my Halloween makeup tutorial. I want to get it finished today so I can film another one tomorrow. I think my friend's going to come and work with me from here tomorrow because she's the one that works from home and it's good to work with other people. I'm gonna take these pills. I'm waiting in for a parcel. I placed an order on Asda home the weekend, I think it was. I need some storage boxes because I've decided I wanna organize my bathroom. At the moment, I'm just storing all my old like shoes and coats in my in my bathroom and it's getting a bit out of control. So I bought some like storage tubs. So I thought I'd like organize heels into one tub, 
boots into another tub stuff like that and i also ordered some new cutlery and i cannot wait to show you because i think you're going to love them also got a little package from um lush they very kindly sent me some of their new halloween stuff We've got, I think this is the ectoplasm bath bomb. We've got this bath bomb, which smells incredible. So nice. We have some soap. Pussy cat, I think this is a bubble bar. And then we have the Lord of Ms. Wool shower gel. And these, I'm not sure what they are. I think they might be like lip balms or lip scrubs. Looks like that. It smells great. Um, so I would like to organise my bath bombs later, maybe tonight as well. I, feel, I just feel really, even though I've got a headache, I just feel really happy today because last night was so great and it was a date that I finally enjoyed. Editing, editing, editing. My Asda order just arrived. The boxes are so small. I thought they'd be bigger than this, um, but I'm sure I will still be able to use them. So they are these pink boxes i mean they're quite deep which is a good thing so i think they'll be fine um yeah and then this is the cutlery i've wanted these for so long i can't tell you um i asked for them for my birthday but i think they were so sold out online at the time but they were back in stock they're like chrome iridescent cutlery and i think they are incredible i also picked up this mirror it's like a hanging hexagon Nero with a little chain, really cute, really affordable as well. Ten pounds. The cutlery was twenty-five. I can't remember how much the boxes were. I think they were twelve pounds. And I also picked up this, which I am obsessed with. It's a copper bell jar lamp, and I think it's just beautiful. I love stuff like this, like really industrial. So I'm excited. I am sipping peppermint tea in bed i'm gonna go to sleep now um i just wanted to apologize for this week's vlog because it's been so boring so far and i haven't like spoke i feel like i haven't spoken to camera much or kind of updated you on my days properly but i will do that please accept my apologies the good news is that my jaw feels a little bit better now I've taken three pills so far today and it wasn't as painful to eat i can still feel it but it's definitely getting better so hopefully tomorrow i'll be feeling a lot better and be able to talk a little bit more comfortably to camera i will see you tomorrow lots of love mm. hello i'm starting today's vlog looking a little bit different i've got a wig on because i am filming another halloween video my friend is on her way she should be here in about half an hour but i think i might get started filming anyway i've got everything kind of set up got my makeup here brushes i could probably lay it out a bit better to be honest we're gonna make some salad for lunch together which would be quite nice and then this evening i'm meeting up with my family and we're gonna go and see my cousin's new baby she had a baby i think like a week and a half ago now so yeah i'm gonna go see the little leah i'm very excited my ear one of my um new piercings is really infected it was fine it's been fine for like it's been like two months now and it's just all of a sudden like started bleeding and it's got a little like blood blister on the back of it so i'm quite cautious about wearing this wig because i keep accidentally brushing it but i'm sure it'll be fine i've taken my wig off but this is my makeup it's kind of like that but my friends here and we're making lunch so i need to wash this off otherwise i'm not going to be able to eat Hello everyone, happy Saturday. I am at home today, going out later to the cinema. Um, today's the first day that I can kind of close my jaw on this side. It's, I'm not gonna lie, it's still agony. I don't think the pills are working at all, but I'm gonna continue. Today's the last day of my antibiotics. Okay, I could close my jaw on this side this morning, but I can't anymore. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think it is my wisdom tooth. Like, it's quite frustrating now because I'm eating. It takes me like 45 minutes to eat a meal. And even then, I can't, I'm not like chewing my food properly. I keep finding myself, this sounds so gross, just swallowing pieces of food whole because it's just too painful to chew. Um, and that's obviously not good for my body either. So I do, if these medicine, if the pills don't work, then I'm going to have to go back to my dentist. 
Anyway, sorry I didn't vlog much yesterday. I was working a lot. My friend came and worked with me and it was just really busy. We had a really delicious vegetarian lunch salad, which I might try and recreate today. And then I went round to my parents' house last night and we just had an Indian takeaway and just caught up. Um, we were supposed to go to see my cousin's new baby, but um, my cousin wasn't feeling very well, so we're going to postpone that to perhaps next week. Today, my plan is to sort my life out, but I'm going to start decluttering again and organising my room. I've made good progress already, I'll show you. But I am at that stage where the room gets worse before it gets better. Just FYI, you don't, please don't judge me. So I've just chucked everything on my bed, all the clothes I need to put away. But I did have a, like a big wicker basket here which I kept all my towels and bedding in. This is my coat rack and like fancy outfit rack at the moment which I do need to organise. Um, and I had loads of coat hangers down here just blocking the way. So I've decided to move my wicker basket there because I mean, I think it's a bit better. And I'm also going to put my um, washing bag there as well so I have a dedicated place for washing now there you go that fits quite nicely I mean it looks quite chock blocked I do need to sort this rattle out I have kind of pulled loads of stuff on it off on it which I'm going to depop so I've taken some depop pictures these bits that I'm going to get rid of yeah I need to sort my bathroom out as well because it looks horrific I did try to start putting all the shoes in my boxes um but it looks like a bomb site's gone off in here as well I don't know if you can see but I've got the two boxes here and two more under this coffee table I need to hang these coats on the coat rail and this will look a tiny bit better but it's still a tip I really need some help my friend is an amazing declutterer and organize like life organizer and storage helper like storage and life organizer so i think i might get her to come around and help me properly with all this so i am eating lunch on the floor because i can't see it anywhere else <laughs> it's kind of what i had yesterday but just without some um tomatoes like a tomato salad got some falafel pita hummus lumian salad so i just wanted to show you this quickly asos have launched their own makeup line which i am just having a look through now i got i was lucky enough to get sent some earlier this week everything comes packaged like this in like bubble wrap so it's not going to get damaged and the packaging is so cute very pink and simple um but the colors and everything just looks so beautiful look at this really really pretty i haven't tried it for pigment yet but but just by looking these look absolutely beautiful also i love that they've got like lip liquid lipstick now there's two two of them here and these are both colors that i would definitely wear and um, there's like a big fat mascara blushes and bronzers lipsticks again really beautiful so i'm very excited to have a play around with this and i might do a review of them on my blog soon so i've just picked my mum up from the pub she, oh. i think she's a bit tipsy and she's wearing wedgies yeah, wearing, wedgies. wearing heels and um, we're just on to on the way to meet I don't, I don't know where I'm going to meet um, the rest of the fam. We're going to go to the Blues Kitchen for food and then we're going to go to the Curzon or get to see Blade Runner. Apparently. <laughs> well, this is a rubbish vlog, isn't it? So I completely forgot to show you the Blues Kitchen, but it was really lovely in there. Just walk into the cinema now and I'm going to be naughty and pop into the Sainsbury's and get some snacks <laughs> beforehand. It's raining outside so i'm quite wet but we are now in the cinema got my little footstool and a nice comfy sofa got beer as well even though i'm not supposed to be drinking because i've got antibiotics i have just got home i enjoyed the film i thought it was very cinematic what's happened to my eye that doesn't look good does it um yeah the film was really good very beautiful quite long though but it was good and um, i'm gonna go to sleep now but i really hope you have enjoyed this vlog and I will see you next week.